Ooh, this place looks pretty. Like, I really like the little purple, um, I guess, leaves. But it's kind of weird that it's only here at the entrance. Also, what are they attached to? Like, you can clearly see the bottom row here and here. Aren't really attached to anything? Oh, you can't see the top up there. But uh, uh, this doesn't really make me think of ghosts, really. This makes me think of a very kind of... Um, it makes me think of weebs, honestly. Like, the, the pink flowers, the, 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 the... I guess they're not cherry blossoms here. But this doesn't really make me think of a ghost-type train. I mean, maybe the darkness, maybe the, the smoke in the background makes me think of ghosts. And that is kind of a dilapidated building over there, but nothing really speaks... Never mind. That certainly makes me think of ghosts. So that's really cool. I really like that. That's ghosty. That's really... Can I go over here, by the way? No. No. Oh, I wanted to go and... Um... I want to go and explore those lights. Also, there's like a platform. You see the platform kind of like extends out there and there? That's that's weird. Uh, so it's been a little bit since I recorded. I took a break, went to get a drink, went to kind of cool down because of the hot weather here, and I didn't really come to a conclusion of who I want to lead in this battle. I think Rico could be good again, but I'm not sure because Yes, Rico has Crunch here. Shireen has Dark Pulse and Ghost Ball, or Shadow Ball. And De Young has Crunch. Either one of these three could um, could lead, honestly. And I don't know if Rico's going to be that useful in this, because fighting doesn't affect ghosts. Um, that's kind of Rico's real, uh, real good move, honestly, having that with the Expert Belts. I mean, I guess Crunch would technically be really, really good. Um, I don't think Shireen can come out at all. Ghost on Ghost wouldn't be good. Um, De Young, maybe. Maybe De Young could come out, honestly. Do we, let, let's leave with De Young, honestly. We're going to leave with De Young. We're going to give De Young a chance. De Young, um, was De Young in the battle against um, Sydney? I don't remember if De Young was used. I I think De Young was used. Hold on, let me see. I can see if I use PP. Yeah, he's used one Ice Beam. So De Young was obviously used at some point. Shows shows how little I remember. Uh, do we have any anti ghost moves we could teach now? Like I was I was planning on um on checking moves before uh, each battle to see what I could use. Uh, Smackdown, that wouldn't really help. Returns are normal type moves, so it wouldn't help. We got Dig. Psychic wouldn't help. Shadow Ball. Maybe teaching Lucario Shadow Ball. Ghost on... Ooh, yes! Right, what we're going to do is we're going to teach... We're going to teach Helix Shadow Ball over Brick Break. Oh no, you don't have Brick Break, do you? Oh, you don't have... Don't don't I have the earthquake TM? Hold on, let me, let's make sure. Let's make sure I have the earthquake TM first. I'm pretty sure I picked it up. Um, I'm not seeing it. I thought I had it. Nope, there it is. Perfect. All right. So we're gonna teach Helix Shadow Ball. <laughs> yep, Helix. Yep, yep, yep. You're gonna learn. Shadow Ball over Earthquake, and then we can teach it Earthquake again. It's perfect. It's perfect. Um, brick Break fighting moves won't help. Oh, Agron could have learned it too. Flamethrower, Flamethrower probably won't help. Sandstorm probably won't help. Aerial Ace probably won't help. Flame Charge, Rest, Attract, Thief. Thief is a nice dark type move, but only Shining can learn it. Um, there's Scold, which I taught to Thingy. Um, I'm just looking at the types, honestly. I'm not even looking at the names. If I see anything that's um, Dark or Ghost, I'm going to try and stop on... Oop. Ooh, someone else could learn Dark Pulse. Uh, who, though? Dimitri? Do we get... 
Honestly, yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of Earthquake on Dimitri, teach it Dark, Bul Dark Pulse, and I think we can leave with Dimitri, because don't isn't Ghost like not very effective on um On steel types? Like, where's the black glasses? I know I had them somewhere. Black glasses, give. Dimitri, you don't need th that anymore. There you go. Yes! <laughs> We're gonna lead with Dimitri. <laughs> I might be wrong. I think that Ghost isn't very good against steel. Because when I think, when you think about it logically, can ghosts inhabit, like, machines? I, well, Rotom, obviously, but ghosts don't tend... I mean, obviously ghosts aren't real, but... Ghosts never tend to like inhabit machinery and stuff, and that's kind of what makes me think a steel type Pokemon. So I'm gonna assume they don't have much effect on them. So we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna lead with Dimitri here, and uh, and hope it doesn't screw us over. I don't want to lose Dimitri really. Hey, you are um, Phoebe, right? That's a pretty nice chair you've got, Phoebe. Can I just um... ah perfect? I'm just gonna take a moment. You hear that? Nice, nice peace, peace and quiet. I mean, this room makes me think of ghost type. You know, you got the dark, endless pit. You've got the swirly purple smoke outside. You've got the weird fire. This makes me think of ghost type. The purple everywhere. Dark type trainer, not so much. Sydney kind of sucked. But I'm pretty sure your name's Phoebe, right? Ha 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 ha! That's a pretty nice chair you've got in the background there, Phoebe. Do you, do you like sit there and wait? Because I mean, Sydney was kind of in the middle of the room, you know, Yakuza boss styling it. I'm Phoebe of the Elite Four. I was right. I was right. Whoa! Did you see that in the chair? There was a small little girl! And based on where that chair was... What? I don't want to alarm anyone, but... There was a small child in that chair for a split second. And considering the chair was over Phoebe's right shoulder, no, left left shoulder, where the camera is now is currently the view of the ghost because you clearly see it get up as if it was somebody in a chair getting up and the little head movements. Yeah, we're seeing from the point of view of a small child ghost. And I don't like that Pokemon. I mean, Pokemon do some cool stuff with ghosts, but this is creepy. Uh, I did my training on my- Oh, it's getting closer! I don't like- Phoebe, please turn around, there's a ghost behind you! Uh, she did her training on Mount Pyre. While I trained, I gained the ability to commune with ghost-type Pokemon. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, it's behind me! It's in front of me! It's to my left! You can see her arm! You can see the little girl's arm. That's creepy. The bond I developed with my Pokemon is extremely tight. Alright, but what about Small Child? What's her name? She's not a Pokemon, obviously. Come on, just try and see if you can even inflict damage on my Pokemon. Ha ha ha, I'm insane! Oh, that's really cool. Oh boy, alright Phoebe. Alright Phoebe. You're throwing a Miss Magius in my face immediately. Right. I don't know if Dimitri has anything, really. I mean, we taught Dimitri Dark Pulse, but... Let's just hope you can hit a Dark Pulse on it. It's a Shadow Ball immediately. Come on. Am I right? Uh, that wasn't super effective, really. Well, not, not as in super, super effective. That did nothing. What? I thought... I thought Ghost was super effective against... I mean, Dark is super effective against Ghost. I'm losing my mind. Why wasn't that super effective? Um... At Stone Edge, I guess? That's gonna be a... a stab. You gotta take another Shadow Ball, though. Oh, barely. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Oh, it's barely alive. It's barely alive. Okay, 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 okay. So we're going to full restore Dimitri because she's going to heal as well. Yep, there you go.
Oh. <laughs> so, Stone Edge. That's all we can really. Oh, Thunder Wave. Right. Don't be paralyzed, Dimitri. As long as you're not paralyzed, you'll kill it with a Stone Edge. Actually, no, you won't, will you? That did a lot of damage. Um, Dark Pulse did nothing. Thunderbolt's probably gonna. We're just gonna Stone Edge again. We're not gonna risk it. We know Dimitri can take at least two Shadow Balls as long as it doesn't get a crit here. That was a crit. Never mind. Dimitri can't move. <sighs> right. So we gotta heal Dimitri again. Come on, Dimitri, don't get paralyzed. Oh, sorry, don't take a crit, and then don't get paralyzed when it uses Thunder Wave next turn, most likely. That was a lot of damage. You've got to... I might be too risky. It might be too risky. Stone Edge, come on. Don't let me down. Take a Shadow Ball. Don't crit. Oh my god! That was stupid of me! That was so stupid of me, dude! Dimitri, you're lucky to be alive now, I'm afraid. Wait, what do you mean, I'm afraid? You're lucky to be alive, me. I'm sorry for- Gengar, oh no. Um... So it's no, no way is she sending out her ace, right? Like, there's no way she's sending her out her a second turn. Uh, I'm going to go with Zarita. Zarita has a lot of health. If it's her ace, then Zarita can hopefully buy some time. It's not her ace, okay. There's no way her ace would be level 71. I mean, even, even that Absol is 72. So there's no way her ace would be lower. All right. I mean, I didn't, deep down, I didn't think that her ace would be coming out second Pokemon. Yeah, you, you're laughing, but I didn't fall for it. Uh, let's Scald. Sludge Wave. Alright, you can take a Sludge Wave, Zarita, right? I mean, it's a stab move, because it's Ghost Poison. Come on, burn it, burn it, burn it! That was a lot of damage, and you burn it! Yes! Oh, Zer I love Zarita, dude. Zarita is amazing! Um, so we know Sludge Wave did a lot of damage there. Sludge Wave did 170, no, 180 damage. Zarita could take another Sludge Wave, but it's got other moves. I'm going to heal Zarita. I'm going to heal Zarita. Play it safe. The burn will do plenty of damage to it next turn. She's probably going to have to heal next turn. Hypnosis, never mind. Okay. Okay. Uh, it could have Dream Eater. It could have Dream Eater. I'm going to use a turn to heal Dimitri too. I'm going to heal Dimitri up because Dimitri Stone Edge is really good. I'm not sure why Dog Type wasn't good against Miss Magius. Um... Miss Magius' type must have changed, and I'm not sure what is, um, what's resistant to dark, but obviously Miss Magius' typing has been changed, because I'm fairly, fairly certain that Ghost is weak against dark. So, uh, I, do, I only healed this turn because I knew it would die from the burn this turn. Didn't die from the burn this turn. Alright, never mind. Heal one more time. <laughs> I mean, I could have attacked, but it's like, why not? I'll just heal. It's going to die to the burn. So we can take some sludge waves, but that's a lot. Oh, that's a crit. Never mind. Man. But there we go. That's, um, that's that down. Gorgeist. What the hell is a Gorgeist? I 
don't know what a Gorgeist is. I'll know it as soon as it gets sent out. We're going to go with Helix. Helix at least has Shadow Ball now, so... Oh, Gorgeist is, um, the tree, right? It's, um, Phantom's Evolution. No, it's not. Never mind. That's, uh... Oh, what's the Phantom Evolution? Oh, this thing is going to be part grass. Do I Shadow Ball or Blaze Kick? I think Shadow Ball. We'll Shadow Ball. We'll see how that does. We know that's super effective. Ghost on Ghost, there's a Fire Blast and we're part Steel type. That's not good. <laughs> right. Right, 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 right. Do we go with Rico? Rico to take Fire Blast. We'll go with Rico. We'll go with Rico. I mean, this thing is part grass type, which is why I debated using um, uh, Blaze Kick. So this might have grass type moves, which might mess up Rico's day, but I'm hoping Crunch can kill it. Come on, you're faster somehow. Yeah, there's a dark move on Ghost, and it was super effective. Okay. Yep, there's the, go there's the grass move. Oh, Rico, I'm so sorry. Never mind, you took that like a goddamn champ, Rico. Holy crap. Dude, Rico is great. This entire team is pretty goddamn good, honestly. I'm really happy with my choices to take on the Elite Four. That was a crit. Uh, we know that this move isn't going to do much, so let's heal Helix. I'm going to... My plan is we heal Helix because Helix we're going to need for her Mega Evolution, whatever it is. Rico can take... Um, I kind of want to heal Zarita too. We're going to heal Zarita. This might be risky. I should have healed Rico first. If Rico dies here, it's entirely my fault. Phantom Force! Right. We are faster. So... Oh! No! I misclicked! I misclicked! I meant to heal Rico! Oh! Rico, I'm so sorry. You almost died because of me. You are faster, right? Yes. Oh, thank fuck. Dude, I just wasted a full restore on fucking Helix. <gasps> My heart stopped. I'm so sorry, Helix. I mean, not Helix. Rico. Helix leveled up. Dusk Noir! Oh my god, do we have an honor battle? Do we, do we bring out Shireen and have an honor battle? Or is it too risky to do that? I think it might be too risky. We're going to send it to Dimitri again. Dimitri could seem to take ghost-type moves, which is nice. It's got pressure, just like Shireen does, but... Uh, we're going to Dark Pulse. Dark Pulse should be super effective. It is a ghost-type. Yep, there we go. So yeah, Miss Magnia's type was definitely changed. Definitely changed. There's an Earthquake. Oh, Dimitri! You need to come out. We're gonna go with Zarita. That was risky because it could have had Pursuit, but... I mean, this isn't the Dark type person. I don't think they're gonna have, um... Oh, Earthquake. Zarita can take an Earthquake, right? Oh, Zarita took that earthquake like a goddamn champ. Hit the scald. Hit the scald. Burn it. Burn it. Nope. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. All right, we gotta heal Zarita again. But um, yeah, Zarita is so tanky. I love it. Zarita can just take hit after hit after hit after hit and just shrug them off. I mean, it's taking three earthquakes now and it's like, what's that? An earthquake? Pfft. I live in the ocean. Earthquakes don't affect me. And it, oh, yes, yeah, that's what I was about to say. Oh, it survived, but it burnt. Zarita pulls off some crit burns, dude. I love it. 
And the problem with the ghosts is they tend to a lot be they tend to have a lot of special attacking moves. So um Chandelure! Ooh! Alright, so Chandelure is a ghost fire type. So maybe we go with De Young. But again, Sarita's already out. We're gonna keep Zarita out. We're gonna heal. We're gonna heal Zarita again. Just because Zarita has Scald and um, De Young only has Surf. And Scald is a better move than Surf. Ooh, Energy Ball, okay. Mm. So it's got anti water, right. Right, 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 right. I don't know what to do here. If I send out De Young, De Young gets hit by an energy ball. I could send out Helix. But it's also pop fire type, so it's gonna have fire moves against Helix. So Helix can take an energy ball, but then it's gonna take like a fire blast or a flamethrower to the face. But I think we're stuck. We can't, we can't afford to send out Shireen. I mean, Shireen, again, Shireen could take an energy ball to the face perfectly fine. But then what after? If Shireen gets hit by a ghost move or a dark move, Shireen's probably dead in one hit. Right, so... Let's Mega Evolve and let's... Sh yeah, Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball, okay. We can't, we can't afford to let Lucario get hit by a fire type move, so I have to Mega Evolve to boost its stats so that if it's slower or it doesn't kill it, then if it gets hit by a fire type move, then it doesn't die. There's an energy ball, never mind, it didn't use a fire type move for some reason. That Mega Evolution was there to protect you if you got hit by a fire type move. Oh man. Ick. It could still go, it's faster than us, we know it's faster, so do we do we risk it and just go for a hit, or do we heal and play it safe? I mean, I started the Elite Four with 60 full restores, I'm almost down to half. Um... What's the fresh water? 50, so that would be 180 health. That's probably not good enough. Um, we know it's faster, that's the problem here. Oh, I don't know what to do. The problem is. Helix could take another energy ball, or it could do flamethrower and kill Helix. And then the Mega Evolution is next, and if the Mega Evolution of her Mega Evolution is faster than mine, and I'm not on full health for it, then what? Like, again, I could switch you out, Helix, but... No, we... We have to heal Helix and play it safe. I like the stupid, like, um, like headbands that it's supposed to be imitating by the... Like, it's got its ears, but it's got those weird dangly things with red at the end of it. And then it's got more dangly things in the middle of those red things. Like, see? Right there? So it used double energy ball. So we would have been safe, but we've got to play it safe. That's the problem here. We have to play it safe, because I've got no idea what her Mega Evolution is going to be. And if it's faster, then we're in trouble. And it's Sableye. Okay. I'm going to keep Helix in, because Helix has already Mega Evolved. This thing's going to Mega Evolve. I believe it's a Ghost Steel when it Mega Evolves, maybe? Or maybe it's Ghost Fairy, or is that Morwile? No, Morwile is... 
Mobile is Fairy Steel. This thing might just be pure Ghost. But we're going to Shadow Ball and hope we're faster. Yes, we're faster. Come on, one-shot it, one-shot it, one-shot it. That wasn't even super effective. Oh, man, Helix. Helix, Helix, Helix. I'm gonna heal you up again. It's a good thing we healed earlier against... Yes, okay, Metal Burst failed, right. What type of Pokemon is Mega Sableye? <sighs> um, it's definitely going to be Pot Goat. We're just going to have to Shadow Ball again, honestly. That was a crit too. That's two crits in a row. That's really, really good. So she's probably going to heal. So we're going to go for another Shadow Ball. No, it didn't heal. Oh, hell yeah. We beat it. Oh, we beat Phoebe. That was... That was closer than I would like it to be. Oh, Dawn, I've gone and lost. There's definitely a bond between you and your Pokemon too. I didn't recognize it. But I didn't recognize that fact, so it's only natural that I lost. Yep, I'd like to see how far that bond will carry you. Go ahead and move on to the next room. All right, but what about the, the small child? Small child? Like she was, she was right here. Hello. Um. See, so that was very, very creepy. But all right. We're going to heal up the team again. Running. I'm almost halfway through my full restores. Probably should have bought more before I started this. But, you know, it's whatever. I would rather go through full restores than lose Pokemon. So the team is all level healed up. Not leveled up, healed up. So the next trainer is the Ice type trainer. And I really, really don't know what to expect there. I mean, we've got Pokemon that can do well against it. Of course, they're weak against um, fire and steel and rock and fighting. I mean, Dimitri has got Stone Edge. I need to boost up the PP of that. Also, Iron Tail. We may even lead with Dimitri again. Maybe Shireen can go for in a battle for once with Fire Punch and Brick Break. Uh, we got Rico, Brick Break, and Ancient Power. We got... I, f I don't want to jinx it, but I think that the Ice Trainer may be the easiest on paper because of um, because of how many Pokemon we've got super effective moves against it. But I know in the original game she had like a Walrion, so she's got Pokemon... She'll, if she has a Walrion still, then she'll probably still have Pokemon with Water-type moves. Uh... What did I say Omega was going to be? Was it Glalie? That's the only Ice type Pokemon that I can think of. At least that's also if they te the, the Aces tend to be native to the the region, at least in these ROM hacks. Like for all of most of the gym trainers have had um, Pokemon that Mega evolve or their Aces have all been Pokemon from Hoenn. I mean, for some reason um, Wallace had like um, Swampert instead of. Uh, Milotic, which is kind of weird, but I guess because it mega evolves you know, at that point in the game, they're throwing mega evolutions as their races. So Glalie is the only ice type Pokemon that I can think of that has a mega evolution, which is, um, you know, that's just pure ice type, so that should be fine. On paper, on paper, the ice type trainer is the easiest, but I'm not going to go in assuming that it's going to be perfectly fine because I know based on my look. If I go in there and just be like, I'm going to just spam fire type moves or fighting type moves and I'm going to kill everything in sight and it's going to be the easiest one of the Elite Four. 
I know that I'm going to end up losing Pokemon. I mean, we've come close to losing Pokemon already. You know, we almost lost Zarita. We almost lost um, Dimitri, for example. Like, it's very, very easily to, easy to lose Pokemon if you're not careful. And I'm being as goddamn careful as I can when it comes to these battles. Because I don't want to lose anyone. Because every single Pokemon that I lose, it... It means I have less Pokemon to use later. So, I mean, I mean, oh, by the way, look at the size of me compared to her. Like, she's actually related to um, the... Uh, who, who was it again? It was the, the guys who gave me... The guy who gave me this, the red orb and the blue orb. She's actually related to the... The, the old dudes on top of the mountain. Like, I'm pretty sure, doesn't it say in her... Um, her trainer thing? Right? How do I... I know it was in uh, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, but... Where... I think it's in here somewhere? Uh, if I click on trainers... Yeah, there you go. So you've got Sydney here. The best defense is a good offense. The, <laughs> the aesthetic of dark, the dark side. Alright, Sith Lords. You can talk about all you want, but all that matters is how strong I am, right? All right, weird dude. He's so he's definitely a Yakuza boss, really. But uh, there you go. There's Phoebe. Uh, con <laughs> confuse and confound opponents. Uh, oh, I wonder how my grandpa is. Grandma is doing at Mount Pyre, not Grandpa. So yeah, there you go. Uh, ass assuming that she means the old woman and man on top of the Mount Pyre, they're her grandparents. But if not. Then she probably just means like her grandma and grandpa are dead and she's talking about you know one of the graves up there i'd like to stay positive you gotta stay positive so i'd like to imagine that it's the old people that kind of run the place up there also it's really cool you get to see their teams afterwards it uh it makes it a lot easier i should have um i should have looked up the different like gym pokemon as well because i've forgotten most of the most of the pokemon used in the gyms I mean, I kind of wish it would preview what the ice type train is going to be, because I'm... Uh, we've made it through two. We made it through two without losing any Pokemon. I just hope that we can... I hope we, that we can continue and not lose Pokemon, but I mean... I have to fight the ice type trainer eventually.